So here's an alternate cleaner that actually plugs in and runs off off of uh, this cord here versus running off the suction or return side. I'm going to pull it out. Here's one of the drawbacks. It's pretty heavy to get out of the pool because it's full of water. This is called the Dolphin and as you can see it's a pretty heavy machine and it comes with all these uh, pretty long extension cords. It's waterproof and it hooks up here to this power unit and um, it's got a three hour run time so it turns off after three hours. You gotta just turn it off and then back on and that'll reset the three hour run time. Now when would I recommend this particular cleaner? Well I'm not sure um, there's a reason for this pool to have it. It's a regular standard size pool. It's, I mean actually a pretty large pool. It's got the standard skimmer so it could actually use a traditional, traditional suction side cleaner but they purchased this one and it's a little bit pricey and it works pretty effectively in this pool. And I'll go ahead and show you how I clean out the debris basket. Okay, it runs off these tracks, kind of like a tank, and it kind of, that's what moves it in the water. And it's actually a pretty big um, debris area in here. You just move these tabs, and you simply pull this out towards you, and you can see that giant basket, and I'll take it over to the side and clean it out. Okay, one thing that's important is to remember how it goes in, and um, that way you don't make the mistakes trying to put it in backwards. It's pretty easy, you just slide it down these metal hooks, and um, you see that handle inside, that goes on the inside, it just slides right off. I'm going to go ahead and hose this down. You can see it actually traps a lot of the dirt and debris, so it's actually pretty effective. Okay, so I hose it off real good. I'm going to turn it back inside out and reattach it. So here we go. I'm going to slide it over here with that little handle in the middle. And I'm just going to slide it down the sides here. Clamp right on. Okay, so as you can see, I have it flush against here, and it's ready to go back into the cleaner. You can also put it all the way on its back and kind of press down if you, if you have trouble putting it in. And by doing that, you can actually slide that yellow locking thing right where it needs to go inside this little notch. And secure in there. Um, this thing is pretty good. Uh, any kind of large debris, like this seed pod, will stop the cleaner. So keep an eye on it when it's running. Um, it's got, you know, a fairly good area for sucking up debris that gets all the large debris out. Um, but larger debris will just stop the tank track and you have to clear it out. Back in the pool and let me throw this cord in and we'll get it running and I'll let you see how it looks when it's actually running in the pool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And walk back over here. You can see it started up. And you can see it actually moving. It moves at a pretty good pace in the pool. It'll it'll cover the whole area, and it actually stops after about 10, 14 feet in that little turn. It'll reverse itself, so it's actually a really good, very effective cleaner. I would not recommend it if you could just throw a regular suction side cleaner in the pool. It's just a big hassle pulling it out and having to wait every three hours to reset it to start it again. And uh, again, it's probably not very energy efficient since it runs off electricity. So those are all the drawbacks to the cleaner. But if you do want to invest the thousand dollars to get this cleaner, you know there it does have it does clean well. But again, I recommend just other cleaners over this one. This would be like the last resort if your pool maybe doesn't have good suction or if it's really old, and a traditional cleaner won't work, then you're welcome to buy this particular cleaner.